Hey guys, what's up? It's Blake's Mining Cave, and today we're going to be learning how to flash a USB with Hive OS and how to set up Hive OS. So, first, make sure you have an account and make sure you go log in and go to the.hiveos.farm. All right, it's going to bring up your dashboard of your your majority of your farm. Now, the first step, all right, you can either go with creating your farm or setting up your wallet and setting up your flight sheet but first let's start and do our wallet first so to do that click on wallets and up here you see add wallet so just click on add wallet and you see you see coin address name source so coin what, what will we be mining you know or I mean not mining but you know what coin are we going to be putting into our wallet so right now I have ethereum let's do ethereum make sure you put your address of your wallet your name of the wallet so we can name it like let's say we are using coinbase wallet correct that'd be the name of the coinbase and then the source will be coinbase you would select that um coin coinbase api um put that in there and that should be good all right you can either fetch wallet balance that's in beta version or not you don't have to and hit create just because i have one i would not be doing this so as you can see, it was after you do that, it should pop up. Coin, Ethereum, nice hash, my address, and then I I did do the beta. So this pulls from the ether mine when I'm mining, and this is my unpaid balance. So once we have that, we have our wallet set up. Now, let's make a farm. So to make a farm, you want to click up to the top right and click this plus. So this will bring up the box of to create the new farm. So what we want to do is name the farm. So what are we going to name? Let's just say room two, all right? And then, you know, time zone, your time zone auto tags, you know, it will auto tag like what you have and then hive on pool charging. So if you guys have, I forgot the charging, but it's like four more, you're going to start paying. So if you mine on hive on pool, it looks like it's 3% instead of $3 for each worker. So 3% what you mined. I think a month I don't know clearly but for from right now we're not doing that so we can de deselect that all right now just because I have a farm I would not be doing this but once you click save it should bring you up to this right your dashboard this is your farm dashboard now right now we can either make a worker or then uh, uh, do our flight sheets now, our flight sheet is pretty simple what you got to do, select the coin that you're mining. So I'm mining Ethereum. Our wallet, the wallet we just set up, it, we can, we'll be able to select it. Pool. So you guys can either mine on Hive on Pool, which we did deselect that, but it is free. And But we did des deselect that because we're not mining on it and we don't want to pay that 3%. So I'm mining on Ethermine. You guys can mine on whatever you want with Ethermine. I want to select the US East and then apply that. Then let's select the miner. So I don't know what miner you guys use, but I use Phoenix Miner personally. And let's click on Phoenix Miner. And name of the flight sheet. So usually people do you no know, nice hash Phoenix Miner, right? And then save that. And and then we can hit create flight sheet. And as you can see, for mining it there, not on hive on pool for more than one rig, a fee will be charged, and that is totally okay with me because you know I'm making more than what I'm going to be being charged. So we can do create flight sheet, and I already have one saved, and this will only be saved on this farm. If you want to make a global one, go back. Oh, data loader trying. I just refresh. Okay, okay, so if you want to make a global one, go over here to Flight Sheets and you can make a global one. Alright, so we can, you know, do Ethereum, nice hash, pool, you know, Ethermine, US East, apply, Phoenix Miner, and then Phoenix Miner. 
and then create. And now we have one for the global. Let's go back to farms and now let's create a worker. So for that, gotta click this plus arrow, not arrow, plus, then hit add worker. Now you can either select GPU or ASIC, but right now I have a GPU uh, rig, so let's do GPU. Enter worker name. This would be, for me, it's gonna be rig two because this is going on my other rig that has two GPUs. Password, you can either type in your own password or just randomly generate it. It will be saved, I'm pretty sure, in your config file. Tags, you can create any tag you want, but I usually just go with the brand I have or how many um, GPUs I have in the rig and enter uh, worker description. I'm just gonna put AMD or AMD uh, rig two. And then we can hit add. So once that happens, we're gonna be prompt up with this, all right? Looks like something new. Let's let's you know. Let's go to the moon. But for this, we have to download this rig.config for this worker. So what you want to do? Just click on it and download it. So just because I already had one downloaded, it, it's going to have the two. But we're going to remove that. So right now, make sure you save this somewhere that you're going to remember it. All right. So I'm just going to be dragging it right onto my desktop up in the corner. Now, once we have that done, so let's go back. Let's go click on our farm. So we created our wallet, we created our flight sheet. Now we gotta download Hive OS. To do that, we can go back to Rig 2 and hit download. All links will be in the description. So click to download Hive OS. All right, you bring to this page, and there's beta image AMD Vega flashing. But right now, we want to do this GPU zip. What you want to do is click on that and download it. Now, this will take a little bit. I already have this download, so just wait and let um, let this download. All right. So for now, I'm going to cancel this just because I already have it. Now. What we gotta do, we'll sign back in. Let's go back here. Now we gotta flash our USB. So make sure you have a USB plugged in. It can either be 32 gigabyte, um, I think minimum is like 16 gigabytes, but I have mine plugged in. So what you're gonna need is uh, a program to flash a USB. I have this one right here. As you can see, I'm dragging around. Link will be in the description to download. But all we gotta do is open that up, all right? Anyone you want, but I use this. Link in the description, right? So let's pull that up. Oops, there's that one right there. Okay, so what we wanna do is we're gonna flash it from a file, and that is the thing you just downloaded. So we're gonna flash from file, all right? Now I have a ton of stuff, and it is this one for me. I downloaded it today. Um, but what you want to do is hit open. All right. Then select a target. This is a large disk. I got to select that and hit select. And then flash. And that's under nice. I get. Yeah. So yes, I'm sure. And hit yes. And then it will start flashing. And now, I will see you back when it is finished. So, after it's done installing, um, it's not going to recognize it. So what you want to do is actually unplug it. Unplug it right back in. There we go. And it should be recognized as Hive. So, right now. If you guys remember that config file we saved in the beginning, let's drag that on into the file. Or let's rename this and remove the two. Now, if you want, you can remove this rate config example. I do every time. And there you go. You have a set up USB to now start mining with Hive OS. So let's do that right now. I'm going to be plugging it into my computer. Now, if you guys have an SSD with Windows on it, 
when you first restart your PC, make sure you go into BIOS and change it where it boots up to the USB instead of the SSD. So make sure you guys do that. I'm going to be doing that right now, and I'll see you back on my computer when the rig is showing up. And it, give it a little bit, let it boot up and everything. You can either use a mon monitor or not use a monitor, but let it boot up. Give it a second, and this should uh, pop up saying it's online. Okay guys, so once you plug it in, let it boot up, and refresh the page, give it a little bit, it should show up, alright, it should be bright, it should be bright, and it should be said, missed flight sheet. So for that, remember we made the flight sheet, for that, we want to go to, click on it, go to flight sheet, or if you want, do the, do your overclocking, but for now, let's just get it all set up and running in mind. So for that, we want to click on flight sheet, and the one we made. So I have two right now. This is my global one, and this is the one we made for our our mining uh, farm. So for that, click on this rocket so we can go to the moon and start mining. You click on that. So now look, I already have one, so I'm going to have to be getting charged, it looks like. I mean, that's fine, but let's apply. All right, so it says, worker updated successfully. So right now, it is going to be doing like all the configs, it's going to be updating it right now, it's also going to be mine, it's going to be installing Phoenix Miner so we can start mining. So, let that boot up and I'll be right back when that's finished. So guys, after you wait a little bit, refresh the page and for me, it just started mining right away, it should do that exact same thing for you, it should just start mining right away directly to whatever you're mining, whatever pool. Now, for some reason, it said that I was going to be charged, but I was looking around. It still says my account is free. I really don't know why, but it's totally okay with me if it's free. Um, but I will have a referral code in the description. Um, you'll get $10 into your wallet uh, on Hive OS, which is pretty nice. So when you have to start paying. But... Right now, everything's working. We got everything. So you can either go ahead and start tuning, overclocking. So to overclock, you can go over here and type in what you need. Uh, I'm going to do this after, but but you can type in whatever you need right here. Refresh rate, Phoenix Miner. Um, you have everything. You have settings, activity, statuses. Status is like a page of all, like, you know, over, over the days. Uh, tuning. Uh, if you have a Phoenix Miner tuner, you can definitely edit that, put some extra config arguments in there. And, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Happy mining. Um, and there you go, you got Hive OS. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.